Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today, you guys, you may want to know this. There is, at Zer a False Promises, which is, you know, way back a season of Arrivals, this whole aesthetic. This AR is not bad. It wasn't bad back then, it's still not bad today, especially with all the changes that have happened over the seasons to Auto Rifles, but this one has Dynamic Sway Reduction and Rampage with High Caliber Rounds and Chambered Compensator with a Stability Masterworks. So this one, it's got a lot going for it. So you may want to pick this thing up, but I'm not the kind of guy that's like, hey, I'm going to make a recommendation and not play with it. You know, I want to be able to validate it to support that claim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it into PvP now and show you some live commentary and live gameplay with this gun. Another thing worth noting is that there are some really nice stat rule gauntlets here for the uh, the Warlock. So this uh, Jensen Knight set, this one has high recovery and strength. So really good for things like the Void Walker. You want to be able to throw those pocket singularities and have high recovery. So hey, this might be the play for you. So let's take it for a spin. Unfortunately, it is Iron Banner week, which is in my book. But I do actually really enjoy Momentum Control. I actually like Momentum Control more than Checkmate. Alrighty. Don't let your guard down. This guy's like running as a pack. Cut there we momentum. go. Keep pushing. All right, he's weak. There's a nice double with that grenade. Cut their There's momentum. a three piece. The howls are quiet. Return to the fight. Another one there. Go ahead and pop the rift down in this corner, but they are aping it. Not gonna be good, not gonna be good! Yeah, Opponent took too much time in the rift animation there, unfortunately. Opponent Jeez, dude. Zone like a freaking clown car. <laughs> Three of them at the same time. Shoot! Let's put this right there. There we go. Oh, stuck on a wall. Not good! <laughs> I thought I was at the door, I was not. This gun's doing really well in the one v ones. The problem is I'm not I'm not really getting many of those. <laughs> it's getting kind of mugged by team fire most of the time here. Zone A lost. Yeah, you can do that. I'll take that fight all day, every day. Now that's two of them weak, but we are also getting pinched here. I'll take that. Bro! Remember that thing I said about 1v1s? They're a myth! They don't exist! Remember at the beginning of this video when I talked about how I'm not a fan of Iron Banner Week? There's a pretty good reason for that. I find Iron Banner Week to be some of the, uh, I don't, I don't think the lobby bouncing system changes, but for some reason the lobbies feel so much worse. I don't know what it is. Our guardian fights for as long as the AR itself felt pretty good, find me again, but we got mercy. Let's see why. Yeah, that would be why. That, that right there is why. <laughs> no shade at my teammates, but I'll tell you man like Bungie has absolutely no idea how to balance lobbies these days It's like man. We've been at this for a while now guys. I think you could probably do a little better than than this <laughs> The AR itself did pretty well there. I almost uh, top fragged the lobby and it was just one kill less than their best guy Let's see if we can get a better lobby here for match two Good counter. Now hit the And the scout rifles just crouched up there. The advantage. Press off. Yeah. Well, we got one, but there are more. There's two. Zone A captured. You are in con. There's two. The howls are quiet. Return to the fight. There's three. There we go. Oh, I gotta get a health back mid mid slide. Zone he didn't get a kill. You. Just suddenly got a lot of HP back. We still killed him, but health mid fight is like one of my biggest pet peeves in this game. Truth be told. Five minutes left. Sound tactics. That guy Back was so down. focused on me. No like he had the biggest the no you know what for me there that he did not care that three of my teammates were walking in his bubble just shooting him in the side of the face. 
Wait, he's dead. Whew. Oh, there. He gone now. Ah! Scout rifle dude is still crouched. Have you moved? You've been there this whole time, Grandma? Ah, oh, my teammate just ripped his stupid little head off. I love it. I'll take the 2.1. Games don't tend to be super explosive anymore. It's all like real tight, you know? Everyone's got 19, 20, 21, 18. You know what I mean? Okay, well all in all, a nice auto rifle. It's got really good stability, great range to it. I really enjoyed using it. Is it gonna dethrone your omit that's perfectly crafted, god rolled? Probably not, nah. I'd say this is at least a B plus auto rifle and a really nice thing to have in your arsenal, especially if you like to collect things that have sort of I mean, well, it's not available anymore outside of just being sold by the right vendor at the right time. It's not like you can go out there and farm a lost promises or false promises because way back in season of arrivals, I think it was part of like the seasonal uh, package of, of guns that we could get back then. Really great weapon. Highly recommend you pick it up while it's available. You know, especially since these guns, a lot of times these perks, like for example, this has dynamic sway reduction, which did get a buff uh, a couple of seasons ago where the uh the the benefits the buffs that you get from that perk kick in more quickly so you get to uh, reap the benefits of that perk much earlier on so sometimes things get buffed things get nerfed different archetypes get buffed and nerfed so if it's not today then maybe maybe next season or season after sometimes uh, you know the high impact frame gets a buff of some kind that makes them even better than they are today and you're going to be happy that you had one of these laying around hey check it out it's not like it's going to break your bank or anything. It's just destiny currency is, is pretty much meaningless. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hey, big shout out to those of you who actually, I had like this accidental live stream this week where I went to record a, a whiskey review for my side channel, just my hobby channel is a whiskey review channel and whiskey history and all that stuff. And I went to re record a video for that. I actually hit the go live button, which was super embarrassing because I live streamed myself in my office reviewing a whiskey with outtakes and uh, awkward burps and stuff like that in the video. I had no idea for like 20 minutes straight I live streamed it before a moderator texted me. It was like, hey, you know you're live, right? It was super embarrassing. But because of that, a lot of you actually found my whiskey content. They're like, I didn't even know you did that. So big shout out to like the th now 300 plus of you that have subscribed to that channel this week. Uh, thank you very much. I actually just launched another tier uh, for my Patreon supporters there on the Whiskey channel. So if you're interested in that, it's $1 a month for the base tier. Helps fund that channel and, and my little side hobby. So feel free to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Be warm and well-fed. And I hope to catch you in the Crucible. Bye-bye.